It's Anna Murray from ERA King Real Estate in Birmingham, Alabama. We uh, were having a training session a little bit earlier this week, um, and we kind of started talking about some this interesting dynamic or situation that's going on in our marketplace right now, where um, when deals fall through on a property, whether it be for home inspection, um, you know, appraisal, whatever, um, and the house comes back on the market, that it, there's this it's now been stigmatized because the property is back on the market. And it's really unique because where this seems to be the most prevalent and happening the most is these pockets here in Birmingham that the inventory is so low um, that people are dying to live in this area, willing to pay top dollar to live in this area. But if a house comes back on the market, they don't, they don't want to touch it. They don't want to go see it. They'd really wait to see, you know, what else is coming up because, well, you know that house is back on the market. The deal fell through. And it's, we don't have an, it's, it's something, it, we've never experienced it. Some of these older agents uh, who are, have been selling real estate for a long time in this area were talking about how it's, it's, they've never seen anything like this. Usually when you have uh, a low inventory and a lot of people want to live in that area, you can't sell them quick enough. And if a house comes back on the market, boom, you've got multiple offers again for that property. And I'm not saying that's not happening or we're not saying that's not happening in some cases, but for the most part, um, when a house comes back on the market, again, it's got this stigmatization that we don't, we don't know how to explain it. We don't know why it's happening. Don't know if it's, um, the amount of information that, um, buyers are able to get these days. Uh, don't, don't know, but we were talking about some ways to make sure that this doesn't happen to our clients. And, you know, there were, there were two things that just kept coming up. One is that, um, when you do get an offer on your house and you are under contract as a seller, you need to do everything you can to make sure that you make that deal work. Um, don't squabble over a thousand dollars worth of repairs. Don't sit there and, you know, argue about the closing date and, and make it to where, you know, you can't come to an agreement because it is going to be way more costly once you have to put your house back on the market, the amount of time that it's going to sit there, um, before another offer comes in is expensive. And then now, because you've gone back on the market, these buyers, you know, think that they can come in and, um, be quite, um, get this stellar deal because you're all of a sudden in this, uh, dire straits of a situation to sell. So, and sometimes that's the case. So that was one of the things is to make sure you do whatever it is possible to get this to closing because it's going to be way more costly to go back on the market. The second thing is, and this isn't new, um, but is something that continues to be a struggle in real estate is pricing your house correctly. Um, pricing your house is so important when you put it on the market. Agents have a lot of access to information and buyers, as previously mentioned, have access to so much information these days that they are able to go in and automatically see if your house is overpriced. And then if they think it's overpriced and they're going to offer, you know, even lower than what you were probably expecting because they want to get you to wind up somewhere in the middle or closer to where they want to be. So, um, anyway, questions, comments, obviously you can leave a message below or you can always email me at Anna-Marie at ERA-King.com.